My research is primarily directed at understanding past warm times, in particular the most recent interval of sustained warmth called the Pliocene, which was between three and five billion years ago. I'm interested in understanding how and why climate has changed through time, and in particular in looking at these past warm intervals as potential analogs for where we're headed. The International Ocean Discovery Program is critical to the work that I do because the sediments which I glean my temperature reconstructions from, in fact, are directly extracted from the seafloor by the, by the IODP. We're in College Station, Texas, great place to be, and this is a Gulf Coast repository. Right now we are in the heart of the Bremen Core Repository. This is a huge reefer where all the cores are stored. We are in the Kochi Core Center, the new reefer of Kochi Core Center in Japan. We're in Reefer 1 right now, so this is the very earliest part of our collection. This collection goes back to 1968. They're organized chronologically, so it's very easy to come in here, find the sample you want, and uh, take out the cores, do your sampling in the core lab. So it's, it's very straightforward. Hundreds of visitors are coming here to look at core, describe core, sample this course. We'll send samples to the scientists all over the world. The great thing is there's just one system where to apply for these samples. They can submit their requests through online systems. You just go to this web page and fill it out and then everything else is taken care of for you behind the scenes. So all the scientist has to do is look up an area that they're interested in and we have the cores, we have the record, we have the samples for those guys to do that work. So it cuts out a whole chunk of the process, probably the most laborious and boring chunk, and they can get right down to the science straight away. We have about 150,000 meters of course, so there's a massive amount of research that can be conducted on that. And people often ask me, why do we keep these cores that are maybe 40 years old? And it's because people are constantly applying new techniques and new research to these old cores. Einstein said scientific truth is a function of time, and that's very, very true. We get a lot of new techniques, and we can apply these new techniques to the old cores and get new research. I'm surprised that there are new analytical techniques coming up every couple of years. So like niodium isotopes and alkanones, and those parameters can be used for even the very, very old cores. And uh, so the advancement in analysis always brings more and new surprises about the cores we have. What I do is basically use dead things that are preserved in ocean sediments, in particular lipid compounds that are synthesized by a few species of ocean surface dwelling algae, and these lipid compounds are called alkanones, and I use them to reconstruct what the temperature of the ocean surface was like in the past. And I do that using marine sediments, in particular marine sediments that have been recovered by the ocean drilling program. Climate science is at its heart a really collaborative endeavor. And I think that the IODP is this sort of beautiful model of that kind of collaboration amongst different scientists with different expertise from nations all over the world working together to try and explore the history of Earth and in particular in my context the history of Earth's climate. I think that this is true of the scientific endeavor more broadly that we stand on the shoulders of the people that came before us. And I often think about it as us all laying different bricks in this sort of foundation of this edifice of knowledge about science that we were building. That's the, the whole sort of function of IODP, is to present this data to people, to give scientists the opportunity to do the research. We send shipments out all over the world. We send them out free of charge. We encourage people to come in, study, look at the core. We encourage colleges and schools to make use of the collections. So it's very, very open. We actively solicit people to use our collection and to make the most of it, yes. Mm -hmm.